Hey everyone, thank you for listening to me today. We're talking about life lessons, even though all the speakers here today are teenagers. We have so much of our lives left to live. But here we are with lessons that we believe can carry us and you. I attribute that to the state of the world right now. I mean, I haven't even made it out of high school and I've gone through a pandemic. I've witnessed social movements arise from constant injustice. I've dealt with my identity and people trying to perceive my identity for me. And finally, trying to figure out what I wanna do with my life. I'm not alone in feeling like the weight of the world is on my generation's shoulders. And I'm definitely not alone in wanting to enact change, but feeling like it's impossible. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about how your passions are your most effective medium for change. I'm Ayata Ahuja, and I'm a filmmaker. And this may sound a little extreme, but I knew I was a filmmaker when I was six years old. Not only do I record absolutely everything, but I've also always used video as a way to tell stories. I'm also an Indian woman who comes from a long line of people who break boundaries, from rule breakers to immigrants, to leaders, and now there's me, an artist. I've made a few short films showcasing people using what they love to create change. And in doing so, I'm using what I love to create change. My freshman year, I made a PSA called Express Your Voice, showcasing students at the school using their talents and their passions to further a cause they care about. Some of these passions were simple, and some were more obscure. Podcasting, photography, dancing, embroidery. Because they were passionate about their talent, they were able to create outward change through awareness or inward change through acceptance. My sophomore year, I made Youth on BLM, where I interviewed a bunch of high school students about their perspective of and hopes for the BLM movement. This film not only included explanations from young people about why they thought the movement was important, but also showcased how each person was doing different yet impactful things to further the cause. Youth on BLM played in several different cities, including New York, Los Angeles, and right here in Virginia, which meant people all over the country got to see that when young people have the opportunity to pursue what they love, they can use their passions to unite for a singular purpose. This film and my love of filmmaking was my contribution. Film, in my opinion, is a business of emotion. I help to use film to make a difference by showing people their selves, their issues, and their experiences and emotions reflected on screen. In my most recent film, On the Contrary, I attempt to do just that by showing the complexity of female friendships and how with teenage girls, small things can mean so much and that's not something we should look down on. What better way is there to show people hidden perspectives and justice and their importance by letting them see for themselves. Movies are so powerful because they immerse you in another person's story so you can understand your own story and the world around you better. Being a brown woman in film has already proven to be difficult. I've constantly been told time and time again by other people that I should consider another career path, something STEM related, something stable, something respectable, something successful. However, what are we defining success by? I want you in the audience to think deeply about what success is to you versus what you've been told success is. If it's making a lot of money, yeah, my pursuit of film has a greater risk I might not make it. However, I'm choosing to define success by making a positive impact on this world. And I am best able to do that by utilizing my passion for telling stories by giving the voice to the underrepresented. My parents didn't have a choice on whether to prioritize making money or creating a social impact. But their generation's goal was to find a place in the world. So my goal and our goal can be to help fix it. I contribute so much more with film, what I'm truly passionate about. Passion, that's what it's all about. 
I see everyday life as shots and I look at my life through a camera lens, experiencing moments and memories as part of a larger whole. The reason I am able to use film as a medium for change is that it's what I love to do. Gen Z is often looked at as lazy, but they are really a generation of change makers who don't know how or what to do to make a, contribute, to make a difference or contribute anything to this world. The problems can seem endless and the future can seem meaningless, but my life lesson to you is to put expectations and judgments aside Find what you are passionate about and use that to not only focus on what you want changed, but shape that change too. Thank you.